Well, at the field. Nice day, bit of a wind there though. I'll see how that turns out. So, I uh, got the old P40 hooked up. I got the uh, my e-flight timer on it. It's only good for one minute. I forgot to get a battery for my tack so I can't compare the RPM. But I'm running 18 gauge line and 63 feet. And I got to uh, set it for one minute and see how she how she makes out. <laughs> Maiden flight coming up. Not enough RPM. Handling's not too bad. That's it. And she's uh How's that for a landing? <laughs> oh look at that. Sweet. Well, we'll call that uh, successful. Uh baggy not required. That's good. She's, uh, again, I don't know what the RPM is. Um, she certainly isn't sensitive by any stretch of the imagination, although I do have a handle set up pretty tame. Yeah. But uh, seems to be a little, I got three quarters of an ounce in the outboard wings, so. <laughs> seems to be a little out there, and I did put these lead outs back quite a bit so uh, that was it nothing too exciting which is good um, I think I might uh, crank up the rpm a little see if we get a little more speed again I'm on 63 feet line everything's like super precautionary here so. all right I'll do one more. Make sure this dude just hooked up. I made a, an adjustment to the handle. That's better. Yeah, it looks like that outboard wing might be a little bit down. That's better. Man, is it ever quiet, this thing? I think the motor has ample power. Well, uh, if not, I'll just swap it out. That uh, downwinding run of the E Flight timer is a pain in the butt. So that was a into the wind landing so far. The uh, way it handles is quite nice. Um, yeah, so I think it's time to do the six minute flight and it's nice about the KR is I can just sit here and wait. 
well, it's 30 second uh, start delay. lines do, do a time here yes 6.19 seconds she's lazy and I got six minutes to sit here and go around circles a little light up there for tension. I can't really see if the wing is uh, dipping when I pull up, but I should have done and set up my other camera. Yeah, I think 63 feet is a little much. I get a decent pull on it here on the ground, but like going up and over, she's She's a little iffy there, especially. Yeah, of course the breeze up there too is not helping. Losing power now, so it's like 20, 2700 milliamps ain't enough. Good thing I set the uh, speed controller up to four cell. So. 63 feet might be overkill, or definitely overkill. So I have to tighten that up to 60 feet. And the 18 thou lines might be a bit heavy too, so. Because she just, not, the time is pretty slow. So six, I'm one second over where I kind of want to be. Um, I guess I could, it's 9,500 RPM on the motor, but I think 63 feet, a little much. So what I should do is cut her down to 60 feet, see how it, how it likes that. Okay, 60 feet of lines, 15, so one minute flight. Now, where's that switch? Turn that on. There. One minute. Five point nine six or a little faster. Now, let's see if I can bring her right around. Nope. And with the wind, I'm not making sure I don't trip over that ugly bastard. I'm not gonna push it, but that's a sweetheart to land. That made a difference. Oh yeah. Kick the RPM up a little, it's probably closer to 10,000 now, and I can really feel the difference. Let's see what we got for a lap time here. 5.72, still a little high, but. Let me 
it's a little sluggish. That was a really, really bad square loop. I gotta keep in mind I haven't flown. I was out once last year, so. I gotta blame everything on the poor airplane, that's for sure. Actually getting used to it. She's uh, smoothing out for me a little bit. It bounces through the wind pretty nice. I caught a swat up there, which she recovered like right now. I'm uh, growing to like it. Looks like 3200 milliamps is going to do the job for uh, battery. The 2700 really didn't cut it. She crapped out before the six minutes was up. It's a pretty looking airplane. go. So 3200 milliamps it is. Which means I gotta buy more friggin batteries. Oh, I love landing this thing. Look at that. Love landing this airplane. It just, it just flies. Comes in nice. First flights on the P-40, a success. I got one battery pack left, and I think it uh, needs to be, it needs to be used. Yeah, that's 3,200, that thing isn't even warm. Just, just, just a touch warm. Yeah. That's good. Last flight. I increased the distance of the lead outs on the handle and it yeah, yeah, that made quite a difference. And she's a little lo loose on the top, but there is a breeze, so I'm thinking a little more RPM or a better a little more pitch in the prop. I'll fix that. I'm getting used to her though. So I'll see where the RPM is when I get home and I'll round it up to 10,000 and maybe a little more pitch. <laughs> Although it, uh, it's easy to control. <laughs> that wind is all over the place though. So. Jeez. 
little hurting and line tension. Look at that outside, pretty nice. I'm getting used to her. I think uh, just judging by the few maneuvers I'm doing, I'm going to like this airplane. I'll go up and over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I gotta run the tight nose lines up. That's enough of that. If the uh, little more jam was there, I'd be uh, having a lot more fun right now, but she, uh, she went a little slack on me there. And she's doing a little slow lap. That's my last battery, so I'm done. And uh, don't need to be making mistakes. I'm breaking this thing. Lots of room left for RPM. Oh man, does that thing glide nice. Try not to trip over the stooge. Sweet. So, a couple of things I might try. Um, I might stick a little more throw in that elevator. We'll see. Um, I gotta check the wish she brought the damn tack. Nothing, that motor's. Everything is just luke. Like, there's no load on the prop motor. And that prop's quite a bit smaller than what they're recommending. So, we got room for advancement here, Bubba. 